Hey guys, welcome back to the log. It's been a while, as I think I said last time, it could be a while. Here's the update on, on the writing, on the, on the path to 100,000. We're just about keeping track with that, is the long and short. Uh, Henry VI is, is with the editor now, so that's good. I'm just putting the finishing touches on the Ethiopian um, uh, article about uh, Amda Sion the I, uh, just drawing an uh, image to accompany that for the Historian's Magazine. I did my first uh, sub-editing job for them. Uh, it would have been in January, I think, or early February. Uh, which went well. It was a good experience. So I'll be doing more of that. Um, and now uh, I'm, I'm forging ahead with the Helion collected um, Helion edited collection about warfare in America, in which I'm covering the Gulf Coast campaign uh, of Bernardo de Galvez, and you know, that is all on track too. It's a little more chaotic than I've ever wanted it at this point, but nevertheless, we're getting there. And then it'll be straight on to the Siege of Pensacola and, you know, getting those, that last uh, 80,000 words clocked. Remembering, of course, that the goal is to hit around 100,000 words minimum, which is like the meeting the dead, uh, meeting the criteria of every article and book, but generally speaking, what you want is to be over budget on it so you can cut away at it. So I'm actually probably will have written over 100,000 words by some point in July. Um, if all goes well, then it'll be the beginning of July. If it's if, if delays occur, then it'll be the end of July. Um, distractions have been annoying at the second uh, in terms of my housing situation, the landlord has decided he wants to sell the house uh, and gave us two months notice in which to do this, uh, well, to, to find a new place. That hit my productivity fairly hard um, at the beginning of the month, so I didn't do as much editing, and it was quite a, quite a grind to f try and focus on the writing, but we will... We will prevail, as the T-shirt says. You know what would Galvez do, and you know he would he would look at the problem, he would see the, all the options, and he would usually take the most aggressive one. And at this point, the most aggressive thing I can do is keep on keep on writing and producing content for you all. Um, so I was I've been on a couple of podcasts uh, up uh, this year already um, with Zach White and uh, a surprise. Um, last minute substitution on history hack allowed me to be a present put my presenter hat on and talk about the persians with alina and uh dr uh royal kleinen's uh kleinen's dyke who you might know from the from the medieval warfare specialist videos on youtube he was, that was a lot of fun and um I have started monetizing stuff because, you know, things are a little tight this year. And for, first of all, I want you all to know nothing is going behind a paywall, right? History Land is going to remain a public, public meet. If, if, you, if you like History Land, if you like what happens there, I will not make you pay for it. Um, I never have. But... Uh, there are now going to be links and um, requests on videos and um, various other places where my content appears um, that will allow you to buy me a coffee uh, with Kofi um, should, should you like the content should you want to should you want to contribute something to my being able to make these videos, um, you know, properly caffeinated and everything like that. I will also be monetizing or looking into monetizing the videos uh, on YouTube uh, if the if the what if the if the monthly views rack up to four thousand in a month. 
um, that shouldn't affect your enjoyment of the videos or, or your ability to enjoy the videos as far as I am aware. I'm sorry if it does, but this is the world we live in. If I want to keep doing the stuff I'm doing, I have to augment, you know, I have to start trying to find a way to to do what, to, to, to make it sustainable and to try and find the best way I can do that uh, and at the, at the same time not, um, you know, be completely annoying. So I'm going to do my best. I really appreciate it if uh, people could support me in some way. Um, so, you know, better videos may come from, <laughs> better videos and writing may, may be the result of this, but yeah, the, that's going to be happening. I'll also be looking at what I can offer people in, the, in a Patreon subscription. I'd like to be able to figure out what I can do per month that would allow people, would get, get, give some people some benefit from regular, regular support to the channel and to the blog. Um, so yeah, that's the, the, I've been meaning to do this for a couple of years, to be honest. It's not, not just because, not just because, you know, everything's in a delicate situation economically this year. Um, I should have done it, I should have done it during the pandemic really, but I'm terribly disorganized. Well, and that is, uh, and that, that's that really, um, we will forge ahead with the writing goals. You'll see a, a sort of an update as to the collected writing, uh, status. Um, today I'm going to be, uh, editing <clears throat> my interview with the girls from It's a Continent podcast. Yesterday I uploaded my talk with David Davies, <clears throat> which will be coming out possibly a... Well, which will have come out by the time you see this, because this is going to be going out on Sunday. And... Uh, yeah, continuing with the, with the Gulf Coast campaign research, really. Um, and the, t tomorrow I think I have two two recordings to do. One is a guest spot on, Nap on the Napoleon and his Generals podcast, where I'm going to be talking about uh, Generals Blake and Cuesta of the Spanish Army. And in the morning I will be talking about Black Edwardian history. Uh, more, more info on that as we go. But as usual, thank you so much for watching and for keeping tabs on how how my how my goal my progress is going. Um, do please support the channel if you can, and um, I will see you uh, on the next video.